Hey guys, this is KGalvids, and today I will be showing you how to get overpowered equipment and how to make um, uh, crafting gloves or crafting armor that will make your weapons and potions 28% <clears throat> stronger. So, I used to watch guides on like how to get your weapon stronger, and they've always started with um, they've always started with gloves, like leather bracers or something, with like 28% more. Like, weapons and armor can be improved by 28% or something like that. And I never knew how to get that, like, 28%, because I didn't have an enchantment for that. So, I'll go through everything you need and everything you have to do to get uh, irresistible armor that is, like, a thousand times better. And weapons that are, like, a million damage or something like that. Basically, overpowered weapons that are glitched. So, um, before I start, I gotta say, this will break your gameplay. You'll never like to play again if you have all this crap, because... Uh, you one hit everything and it's not that fun. Um, so for this uh, tutorial, I will be using, I'll be trying to upgrade uh, two Daedric swords and my Daedric armor. So first, th first things first, you need to have like lightweight um, necklace. You need a necklace, a ring, a helmet, and gauntlet. That are that have nothing on him, so that you can enchant them to be 28%. Uh, so for this, I have a gold necklace which I'll equip. I have leather bracers, leather helmet, and I have um, where's my? I have silver garnet ring. So those are four things I have. Um, if I unequip these two, it'll be fine, but my uh, weights will be really high. So I'm just gonna leave these on for now. <clears throat> oh, and also, guys. Um, actually, you know what? I'll just show you in the enchanter. So, basically, what you want to do is get a grand soul gem because that's the highest you can get. But it doesn't really matter if you have grand or petty because, in the end, you'll just keep um, glitching it. And no matter where you start, you'll get to a high point after. So, basically, the enchantment you need is Fortify Alchemy, which I don't have right now because it's in my disenchant right now. So you need Fortify Alchemy and Fortify Smithing. To get these two, all you have to do is go to Riverward Trader and talk to this shop and see their apparel. You'll find something that says, like, items and uh, weapons will increase by 17%. Buy that one, and there's another one that says, created potions will be better by, like, 15%. And buy that one. Those two are Fortify Alchemy and Fortify Smithing. A uh, great way to do this is save before you um, talk to the guy, and then if he doesn't have it, kill him and reload it, and just keep doing this till you find it. It'll be pretty easy because... Uh, within a couple of tries, I found it in Riverward Trader. Um, so, this is what I got from him. Created Potions, that's the Alchemy one. And this is the Smithing one. So, all I have to do is learn it by disenchanting it. So, just destroy it. And then you learn it, and then you learn this one. So, if I go to my enchantment right now, now I have Fortify Smithing. And I have Fortify Alchemy. Don't worry about it. It says like 8% of crap like that, because um, you'll have enough. So, after that, let me just show you my skills. So... The reason why it's 8% is because I don't have anything added to it right now, but for your enchanting, you need to get this 5 out of 5, so basically you need 80 enchanting, and then you need insightful enchanter, corpus enchanter, well actually you don't need a corpus enchanter if you um, don't have enough skill points, but extra effect basically means that you can use smithing and alchemy on the same item, so uh, it'll be twice as powerful because you can use two enchantments on it. This is not required, but if you have it, you'll definitely be way stronger than what you used to be. Um, whoops. And I forgot to show you, um, alchemy. <clears throat> so, for alchemy, you need the first five again, which is AD alchemy. You need the second one, and you need the third one, benefactor. So you need the first five, physician, and benefactor. After you have, uh, those on, uh, both, uh, alchemy and enchanting, you can go back to your enchanting arcane enchanter. Yeah, it has a lot of requirements um, that I that I need to explain because this is like probably the hardest glitch to do, but most uh, worth most uh, worthy because in the end you'll be unstoppable. So I'll put the requirements in the description if you guys can't um, uh, can't remember the requirements. So you can look at the description while doing this. So I'm um, before I do this, like if I press Fortify Alchemy, it'll be 25%. Ha 
However, I can make it 28% by drinking a potion that lasts for like 30 seconds, I think. So there's this potion called Enchanter's Elixir, and for 60 seconds, items that are enchanted are 25% stronger. You can buy this at any elixir shop. There's one in Riften called Elixir something. Basically, it's only like 200 coins, and you want to buy like 3 of them because uh, it only lasts for 60 seconds. And um, you just want to make sure. So before I do all this, I want to save, which I already did. And um, after I save, I want to use this and quickly enchant my gloves, my rings, my necklaces, and my helmet with the Fortify Alchemy and Fortify Smithing. So I'll just use it and then quickly use the Arcane Enchanter. And then I will go to my item. I will go down to my necklace first, enchantment, alchemy, and then smithing. Now for the helmet, only alchemy works. Smithing doesn't work, so that's it. And then use your Grand Soul Gem. Soul gem, sorry. Use it again, hurry up, because we don't have that much time. Go back to alchemy. And then let's do it on the bracers. Bam. Now if you see um, my apparel, 28% weapons and armor better, potions are better, and leather braces are also like that. So I got two more left. Let me drink another potion. And then quickly do this. This is the first part of the tutorial, by the way. Um, so ready? Let's go. Alright, let's go to item. Leather helmet. Now, leather helmet only works for fortify alchemy. That's it. See, you, you can't go to fortify smithing. I'm pressing A. You can't. Uh, Grand soul gem again. Enchant item. And then I'll use it again. So get smithing and then alchemy. Whoops. Not that. Make sure it's back, okay. And then do it on the ring. So after you're done, exit out of the arcane enchanter and check your items. At this point, I would save, but uh, it's not necessary in case you want to do something else with it. So gold necklace, 20%, 20%, 28%, 28%, 28 So after you have that, what you want to do is go to the alchemy lab. And you're going to make a potion for restoration. So Fortify Restoration is basically the glitch where, um, it's a glitch where if you drink the potion, your armor will all of a sudden be like 10 times better, and then it keeps going up like a thousand times better. It's like a glitch because Fortify Restoration is not supposed to fortify your creating potions percentage. So the material for this is Salt Pile and any one of these three or, um, Small Marble. So, um... Basically, you don't need three ingredients, you only need two. So I click on Salt Pile, and then Cyrodelic Spade Tail. I can already make a potion of Fortify Restoration. If you can see, it's like 127% stronger for 60 seconds. Uh, basically, what you want to do is keep creating potions until you get to the number that you want, like 1,000% stronger, and then save that potion until you go to the crafting table for uh, or smithing table, and then you want to drink it, and then craft all your stuff. So for this um, tutorial, I'll probably go into like at least maybe 200,000%, I'm not sure, but you just want to make these uh, potions. So make one. So I have it, but before I uh, back out, I'm just going to tell you, Salt Pile you can buy from anyone, Cyrodelic Spade Tail and Abyssinian Longfin and Small Antlers you can buy from the Elixir store at Riften. Uh, just keep re reloading it until you see all these ingredients and then keep saving and reloading as you can see my store glitch and um, these two fishes are actually in winter hold the lake right next to winter hold you can keep catching these but uh, it'll be a long process and small antlers are from uh, small deers so yeah you can do that too but salt piles are easy so you can just buy them from anyone these two you can also buy from anyone and I bought this one at the shop too uh, if you just buy like maybe five or four or five you're good you're good for basically your whole armor set all right so i'm gonna exit out make sure you only make one too because you want to make one and then drink it and then make another one and then it'll keep building up so the potion right here potion po potion of fortify restoration i already have three whoops but i'm gonna drink this one because it's 127 percent. so i'll use this one and then i won't be rushed because it's uh, i just have to make one potion within a minute so let's go back to Fortify Restoration, and then it's all piled in small antlers, and I'll craft that one, and then back out. So basically, right now I have the 127% added, but if I check again, it's 288%, so it keeps going. So we drink this one then, and then we make another potion. So make sure you only make one each time. And then at the end, I'll probably just stop and keep the potion. 
So let's craft this. And by the way, the gold amount, well, the worth of it increases every time you make one. So, 288%. Um, where's my other one? I thought I just did this one. Alright, I'll just drink this one again. Sorry. So, let's make another potion. So, that was 288%. To quit alchemy. And then, if I check my items again, it should be... Um, what the hell? Ooh, I'm doing something wrong. Oh, there we go. I had to drink these because I had um, other potions. But make sure you only make one. This is what happens when you make, like, three of them at once. So I'll just drink this one. And then, uh... <clears throat> oh, shoot. I just remembered something. Lols. Alright. After you drink a potion, remember to go to your apparel and unequip all of them. Sorry. So, make sure you unequip those, and then equip it again, otherwise it won't work. That's why it wasn't working. So, you see it's 1%, one, 1%, one, one right? On my equipment. I'll just go back to my potions again. And then drink this one. See, now it's now it's way better. 507%. So, I'll drink this one. And then in my apparel, right now, I'll just unequip it. Just to be safe, I'll un unequip the Daedric too. I don't know why I got worse, not 66%. <laughs> uh oh, my fail. This is my last one. I hope that push uh, thing is good. This is a good way to make money too, by the way. You can just keep selling these potions. Because as you can see, this potion is worth like 1,000. So it's 500% stronger. I'll just drink it, whatever. And if you see my apparel, it's like 172%. Okay, I messed up. So guys, that's how you mess up. Now, let me reload this. Like I said, this is going to be a pretty long tutorial because it's um, so, hard to, so hard to master. So, what, am I, what I'm going to do is reload this and um, <coughs> uh, go through this one more time with you in case you didn't catch, catch up. Because this is a pretty complicated thing. So, first of all, um, back to the enchanter again. I'll just dis disenchant these two. And then, um, I'm go I am actually not going to drink that potion because I think 25% is enough for now. <clears throat> so I'll take my gold necklace, enchant it with fortify alchemy, and fortify smithing, and grand soul gem. Sorry guys that I messed up. Please, um, do not hate on me because of this. Everyone makes mistakes. Just remember that you just have to unequip. That's the only thing I messed up on. I'm sorry. So I'll just quickly finish this. And then the silver garnet ring. Okay, now I have all my armor on. I'm just gonna wear it. And I'm just, just to be safe, I'm just gonna take off the Daedric. And I'm going to um, drop it. Because I think that thing is messing me up. So I'm just gonna drop these. Alright, I'll pick it up later. So, in the alchemy lab, I just remembered I have a potion. So, I'll drink a potion. Right? I'll drink a potion. And then, what I'll do is, I'll make a potion. So, drink a potion, make a potion. Because I drink a potion, and then I made a potion. And then, after you do that... Don't drink another potion. First, unequip. And then equip. <clears throat> and then drink your other potion. So, 192%. Drink. So, the process is drink a potion, make a potion, unequip, and repeat. There we go. So, I made a potion. What's the next step? That's right. You know it. Unequip, equip. See how it's getting even higher and higher? Yeah. And by the way, if you go over like a million percent, it'll glitch up and say it's negative percent. So make sure you don't do it too high. Otherwise, the game will crash. 
and because uh, YouTube allows me to have videos over 15 minutes this will only be a one part video so you guys don't have to uh, go through a second part as you can see it's 138 percent the next one will be really high because I saw it it's like a thousand percent yeah all right as you can see the value significant significantly increased to like a thousand four hundred so it's a great money-making guide <clears throat> I'll just keep doing this until the last last one that I have so unequipped yeah 351 percent more powerful remember this is not permanent this only lasts for 60 seconds so you want to keep potion to a use when you're done so I'll drink that one and then make a potion I think I think I'll stop there so um unequip and then equip and then that potion is not too strong I'll make one more or no the next one's gonna be negative so 50,000% I'll just save that one and then um I'll take my armor now equip my armor or I can just wear uh, this one ha <laughs> carrying capacity increases by a thousand that's crazy uh, it's not it's probably not gonna last long so what I'm gonna do here is go back to the beginning where there is a um, there is a <laughs> crafting table for blacksmiths just I think you see saw my other house video that right right before your house of breeze home there is a house that's called um that's uh, not a house I'm sorry there's a shop for blacksmiths only and um, that's where you do everything you no know, do all your work so you gotta make sure you have all your uh, stuff before you enchant um, basically while it's loading, I'll just explain real quick what my mistake was. Okay, so we're out. Okay, basically what you want to do is, um, hold on, I'm just equipping my Daedric boots. Okay, so basically what you want to do is, um, this thing only makes, only makes your legendary armor stronger. So, when you want to, like, improve your Daedric armor, it'll go by, like, you know, twice the price, and it'll, it'll be pretty good. But if you use this method, it'll go up by like a thousand percent. So if your Deja Garma is like 50 uh, protection or something like that, 50 armor rating, it would normally go to like a hundred. But if you use this, it'll go to like a hundred thousand. So right there in the front, there's a crafting table. And make sure before you drink the potion, you have all the stuff, all the uh, necessary equipment to upgrade your armor. So I need ebony ingots. Which you can buy from her. I don't claim so I'll just buy an MBD ingot real quick. Um, it's in her miscellaneous. So I'll just buy all these ebony ingots. And then. Yeah. because And then for um, weapons is this thing. Weapons is a grindstone. Armor is a workbench. It's right next to each other. So within a minute I'm pretty sure you can upgrade all of them. So six ebony ingots. You'll see it turns into uh, 122. Which is already pretty high. Because as you can see, it's 46,000. I think that's a glitch, actually, it's not. But regularly, it would only increase by a little bit, like maybe even double. But after I drink my potion, it'll increase by a hell lot. So, six ebony ingots is perfect because I only have six pieces of Daedric armor. So, what I'm gonna do is have these still equipped the leather, all this stuff. And then I'm gonna drink my potion. Um. Of fortify restoration so if I drink this one first and then I drink this one it'll be really really high so I drink this one so a thousand percent ready guys I'm just gonna drink it and go alright drink it use the grindstone when you press a you have to press X so that you confirm it and then same thing with this have you met my father and then student, I'll go to my workbench Um, I'm pretty sure you could craft it if it's already legendary, but you might want to do it when it's not legendary, like just Daedric armor, so that it'll be better, uh, better suited for your ebony ingots. Anyways, right now I just finished and it didn't take too long. You know, I did six armor pieces within like a minute, 
and I'll just show you what it looks like. So, um, right now the Daedric armor should be pretty high. As you can see right here, it's like a thousand, a thousand, a thousand, a thousand, three thousand. My armor rating is eight thousand, but if you saw my other video, I had like 1.1 mil. That's because these were already legendary. If they weren't legendary before and I did the percent thing, it would go up more. And also, my potion that time was like 100,000%, but this one was only by 1,400%. So it's still pretty awesome, pretty godly. If, if you can see, it's an 8,000 armor rating. And then both of my weapons are... Um, oh, 122 is a glitch. It can't register the number, but it's 2,444 on the bottom. And uh, if you can... If you can see the value, it's pretty high, like 46,000. There's an achievement for like 100,000 gold. If you carry 100,000 gold at one time, you get like 50 gamer score. Uh, good thing to do is go to Riverwood, and then uh, if you have 100 speech, he has 12,000 inventory gold. So if you just sell one of these, and then save, and then sell one of these, save, and you'll have it within like five saves. So it's pretty good, basically, you know, drinking the potion, and then at the end, you have armor that is pretty good so right now I'll just take out my sword and I'll just test it out yeah so he dies within one hit she dies within one hit Someone do something. and she dies within one hit so everyone dies within one hit oh and I failed my quest because I killed her so everyone basically dies within a cup uh, actually within one hit and then um yeah, this is basically it guys. Thanks for watching. This is um this is pretty pretty long video. I'm sorry it took so long and I made a mistake, but also one more thing. After you do all this uh for your armor, you can go back to the enchanting table and add like a sort of like another potential to it, like fire on your weapons. You know how it's like a uh, uh this weapon but then it's like thirty percent fire rate or something like that? Basically you can use a uh, add fire to this with grand soul gem and you can add like protection to this it's like this is only the first part of the the armor you can use the second part and make it even more stronger so this has been a really long tutorial probably my longest video yet um as you can see it's like 23 minutes right now i guess <laughs> pretty long um thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it it's my first uh video over 15 minutes and um i'll see you guys later uh, try to use your godly armor guys bye